Hello everyone, we will continue the topic cross applications and under that we are covering the topic how to send a data from one SAP client to another SAP client and as a part of that we finished with all the configuration part yes we finished with all the settings part some task is done by the basis person some steps needs to be done by the technical person now what we will do we will create the materials and we will send the materials to client 200 now these are the steps left and these are the concluding steps now whenever we will create materials you all know we can create materials through mm01 transaction code then i will go for sap standard transaction code bd10 with the help of this transaction code yes we will send the materials from 100 client to 200 client and how how it will send in 100 client outbound idoc will generate because you want to send that data from 100 client to 200 client so from 100 client outbound idoc will generate and in 200 client the corresponding inbound idoc will generate firstly i will create a single material i will show you then we will proceed further suppose i will go to mm01 transaction code now it is very important that you should create the material in right client because i am creating the material now in 100 client then i will send into 200 and show you so if you have multiple clients just make sure you are creating in right client so i will go to 100 client and i will go to mm01 transaction code as of now i will show you through single material i will create single material suppose i am saying I am creating a material, suppose the name of the material is, suppose I will say material underscore, suppose I will write underscore 200 underscore 1. So that we can understand this material we are creating, which will go to client 200. You can give any name, it's totally your wish. I will choose industry sector. Suppose I am going for pharmaceutical. Suppose material type I am taking additionals. I am pressing enter. I will go for basic data one. Enter. I will give some description. Suppose I will say material which needs to send to client. 200 suppose i will give the unit of measurement suppose ea i will go for say now i created one material in front of you yes now we need to send this material to client 200 just see as of now this material is in client 100 if I will go to 200 client, this material is not available in client 200. If I will show you this material in client 200, this is our client 200. You all know you can display materials through MM03 transaction code or you can check in Mara or MAKT table also. You all know for materials master, Mara and MAKT tables are there. Now you can see in 200 client, as of now, this material is not available. So I will show you how this material will go to 200 client. Now I will simply, simply go to the next step. You can send the materials through which transaction code 
B D ten. So I will go for hundred client and I will go to B D ten transaction code. It is a standard transaction code, and you can see title bar is itself send material. As of now, I will not blindly run for mat mass message type. You all know for the materials, what is the message type mat mass? I will firstly show you for the dedicated one material which I just created. Yes, so that you can understand. Yes, how how one material is passing firstly. So firstly, I will simply simply filter based upon the material which I created. So I will pass the material. I can run this particular program for particular materials also. If you only want to send the dedicated materials to client two hundred, then there must be some provision. If I will not filter based upon material number, if I will simply go for mat mass, then it will take them all the materials and it will go to client two hundred. So as of now, I will show you one dedicated material. Which I just created. Now to give you more more clarity, I will open W E zero two transaction code in client hundred also. I will show you W E zero two in client two hundred also. Why? You all know you can display the I docs through W E zero two. And W E zero five. You can check the I docs always through W E zero two or W E zero five transaction code. So I will show you whenever I will run this program, then I will show you that how new I doc is in W E zero two in client hundred and in two hundred in hundred client outbound I doc will generate in two hundred client. Corresponding inbound I doc will generate. We did all the settings and configurations here, and, and yes, because of that only this whole process is happening. So what I will do? I will simply simply show you W E zero two firstly in client hundred. Today is twentieth. Okay. You can filter based upon other criteria also. It is totally your wish. Suppose. If I will go for port, you all know, but the port you gave sixteen, we generated the port sixteen. Now I can go for partner number also. You all know in hundred client, you maintained the partner profile for two hundred. In two hundred client, you maintained the partner profile for hundred. So you can filter based upon that also. Suppose I will take the partner profile. I will take two hundred. I will go to execute. So these are the already available I docs, but I will go to the last time and I will show you last I doc generated at eleven four. Now I simply I will show you now in two hundred client also. Suppose this is two hundred client. I will go to W E zero two transaction code. Today is twentieth. Now here you need to filter based upon partner number hundred. Yes, A four X C L N T hundred because that is inbound. I will go to execute. If I will show you the last time of twentieth, yes. Okay, the last I doc generated at eleven eight. Now I will show you in. I will simply run this program now in client hundred. Whenever I will run, yes, corresponding outbound I doc will generate and corresponding inbound I doc will generate in client two hundred. I will go to execute button, and I am going for dedicated material. So we got the message, yes. I doc are actually set up. Yes, system set up the I docs. I will go for OK. Now I will refresh 
W E zero two in hundred client, then I will refresh in two hundred client. This is hundred. I will simply refresh. Now, if I will scroll down and show you what is the latest IDOC generated, you can see we have two IDOCs, 11, 8, 11, 9. We'll see what is our IDOC. Yes. Suppose if I will go here, you all know data of the IDOC is in data record. If I will click here, okay, this is not our IDOC. Now, if I will go for this 10418, now you can see if I will expand this data record. Yes, this is our material. Have you seen? We are able to generate a IDOC. This is the material which we created. And yes, it is outbound IDOC. You can see the description itself. It is outbound IDOC. Now, if I will show you now 200 client also, this is our 200 client because how this material will flow to 200 client, there must be corresponding inbound IDOC. I will refresh. Now, if I will scroll down, now you can see this is the latest IDOC generated at 11.9. If I will double click here. Now, if I will expand data records and see this is inbound IDOC. If I will expand data record. Now you can see same to same material is in client 200. If I will go to MM03 transaction code and show you now you can see this material is available in client 200. Just see same to same description. Everything is here. I created the material in 100 client and it automatically flowed to the client 200. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I created once material through MM01 transaction code. As of now, I'm showing you through one material so that you can understand fully in real projects every day. So many materials are creating. Then in that case, you will not filter based upon material number. You can simply run for whole mat mass. Yes. Then I went to BD10 transaction code. I showed you WE02 in 100 client. I showed you W is 0 to in 200 client. In the client 100, we have outbound IDOC generated. In the client 100, we have corresponding inbound IDOC generated. And yes, previously our material was not available in client 200. Now, after that, the client is available in client. The, the, the cl material is available in the client 200. Next video is very important because whatever we did, now we need to verify each and everything is correct. Plus we will track also because in future, if you want to track for this particular inbound, for this particular outbound IDOC, but this corresponding inbound IDOC in other system, so we will go for all these tracing in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.